how to up your photography game easily specifically product photography so what i'm going to do is i'm going to talk to you about product photography and the different levels of product photography out there i'm going to show you some examples of how i use product photography for i'll, I'll give this youtube example because we use a lot of products and we do tests and stuff and we use images for thumbnails so i'll talk you through a few options for what i use how i do it and hopefully that will give you an idea so if i show you some images let's start with something simple so uh, you may see this as an opportunity to kind of look at different options you can think about so here i have a yamaha mixer board we bought this as a podcast mixing board we use this photo as a thumbnail this is product photography you can have different types of photos for product photography you can use examples whereby let me spring that up here okay there we go that's just a look at lightroom basically so that's what i'm showing you there and let's see yes okay so in this example there'll be varying different shots to give an idea of what the mixer board looks like how you would use it so that gives you an idea of the types of photos there's nothing fancy there all that's happened is it's a standard lens we've taken five or six shots in different angles we've used three lights and just made sure to show the main features so you can see there's different angles there so you want to make sure you get a nice mix of shots wide and uh, close up so you can see here there's a light overhead and that kind of produces an image you hold it in different positions you show it side by side with other products that it would be sitting with to give people the idea of what would be a good product photo so the main way to up your product photography game is going to be I'll, I'll give you a simple upgrade you can make lenses and cameras okay but you know what's better than that light so get yourself a nice flash I did a separate video about flash photography and if it's worth getting a flash even a cheap flash like a young newer flash it is worth getting because that ups the amount of light you've got when you've got more light then you can use any lens you already have even if it's a kit lens and get decent photos with it let me show you a few more photos so then I can actually let you know what I mean by product photography so those were examples of that I do another channel where we do technology so if I show you a few of those photos, they're not great, but it's upping your product photography game. So you'll slowly get better and better. So here's an example of headphones. You can see walkie talkies. It's basically the same type of shot where you've got the item itself in focus and it's close to the camera and everything else behind seems to blur out because you can look at aperture whereby you can change what aperture you're shooting at i've got a learn photography series of videos which basically let you know about aperture but if you're shooting on manual mode that's still uh, automatic mode even sorry that's even still fine because what you can do is shoot on automatic mode and take photographs and let the light on the flash judge how the photo is exposed so by opening your game you can take close-up photos you can use light to reflect off certain bits if it's a shiny object and that all is upping your photography game so it's not one trick to get getting better it's just basically using what you already have and seeing how you can up it so here's a, a mobile phone shot i did and that will show you reflections of the phones i'm blurred out in the background the focus is on the phones here's another one of a side by side so you're kind of focusing on different elements of the photo in that example there the phones were a shop and i was blurry because i was further away in this example we kept me focused and then the phones blurry so if you look in my eyes you can see two lights there so that is basically a simple two light setup one light on the left one right on the right and it's basically lighting it so you get an even flat look 
If you're getting creative, you can make one brighter than the other. You can have one light, you can bounce the light with another white card, paper, anything really, just bounce it back in. And it gives a depth to the images. So to up your game, get yourself a cheap flash or even use light that you already have at home. And that can all work for you. And we do have a photography live show where you can actually see us doing live shoots. So that might help you. Let me show you a few more examples and then we can basically explain how they've been taken. So if I go to there and show you this one. So that is a watch, basically holding it out, different angles, like we said before. See where the light bounces. And that was on another channel again. So you can see there, it's not, Product photography in terms of selling on eBay is product photography with the element of, oh, we're talking about this today and it's in a thumbnail. So there's some other stuff that we did on another channel. So it kind of transforms from technology and different types of things. A few little basic shots in the live show setup we were doing. So that's more product photography again. So that gives you an idea of the types of photos and how they can be improved. So look at that there being dark. All I did was move it slightly to allow the light to bounce off it. And you can see there the screen, uh, the watch face has been illuminated. So these things here all make better photos. So product photography is down to light, how you take a photo, which angle you take the photo at, what you want in the image, what you don't want in the image. And that all gives you options to use and get good product photos so i'm hoping this can help you i've got a series of videos set up about getting into photography and how you can get better i'm hoping this series of playlists comes in handy with you and i'll see you on one of those videos